What's up, money friends and the viewers of the tube? There is a new spaceship game in town. Well, closer to a galaxy near you because this game looks pretty dope. Let's get into the details of this game because it looks pretty darn awesome. So this is Far Sight. And as you can see, I have my little um, ship here. And they already have a built-in scholarship program built into the game, which I really love. As you can see, if we go to the academy right here, you can see that there is already a percentage built out. This is great for players who can't afford a spaceship. They can essentially rent a spaceship and earn credits within the game if they're a part of an academy. And as you can see, it says that the academy owners benefits 2% of credits earned by pilots, 5% of ETH spent in the game by pilots, and uh, a estimate of 70% from credits earned by pilots on academy ships. So this is my current ship and the more ships you have, the more uh, pilots you can hire. And I'm actually gonna go to their documentation because they have a whole like slew of just documentation that you can go through. But as you can see here, explore the galaxy and mine resources, scan for asteroids and comets with a radar module installed on a ship allows you to find resources. They can haul goods to other systems, build ships and modules. And then so here's the establishing a academy. So guides new players to learn the far sites universe and receive shares of the credits and the ETH that they spent in game. Also uh, points pilots to the ship and teach them how, where and what to mine so they can extract valuable resources. So it's a really, it's, it's totally cool in a rev share model. The way that the document is set up, it just really reminds me of really a mentorship program within this game because they really want you to take care of your players and not just uh, give them a ship and have them go off into battle and not know what to do. So right here under Academy Pilots, you can see an Academy teaches experience on basic operations performs, performed on a ship in the far sight universe like mining, hauling, and fighting and helps to establish more complex operations in the game like building a base or fully equipped ships. On top of that, scholars will get protection from friendly ships, personal guidance from the mentors, as well as some credits and resources dropped from the academy. And so let's go over some of the cool things that is within the gameplay, such as career paths, mining, uh, building a base. So as you can see here, these are the career paths. So you can have a hauler, a miner, a manufacturer, a military explorer, even a governor, recruiter, and politician. So some pretty cool things, a trader, that you can actually have these career paths or things that your different academy pilots can choose from. So they're really setting up a in-game economy within the Farsight universe. And that's really cool because they're gonna have burn mechanics within the game. And then they're gonna have actual mechanics where you can earn a great deal. And if you have a huge academy, you could be raking in the bucks or I guess the credits. So speaking of building a empire, we need credits, which is the in-game currency for the far site universe. And credits are both are used for anything in game, but you can actually transfer your credits of each thousand credits to earn one far token on the Ethereum blockchain. And these are all the use cases. You get credits from crates, selling an item, completing contracts, Re uh, receiving a share of the tax from government stars. And we'll go over that here in a little bit, but there are all sorts of different ways, but there are also ways to uh, burn these credits. So there's not a huge supply where there's no real burning mechanics. And these are the burning mechanics. So whenever you purchase an item from another player, purchase a sector, build a planet, sorry, explore a new planet, build a base, uh, create a blueprint copy, open contracts, re refuel, storage, all sorts of different ways to actually use credits. So like I said, there's these burning mechanics, ship refuel, base power orders, section acquisitions, uh, planet exp exploration, and part of the tax system. And as you can see here, it says Farsa was designed as a sustainable revenue model with credit sales being the major, major income source, credit insurance, uh, issuance is directly connected with certain expenses. No credits will be given for free ever, which is great because it's only when people spend money that these credits are issued. 
and you can't just consistently uh, farm uh, credits like you can say with SLP and Axie Infinity where then the market just tanks. So if we look at the roadmap here, you can see that right here, phase five, which is coming up in about two weeks from the making of this video, that the Farsight Alpha will be launched and that will include things like asteroid mining, real cargo capacities. Uh, they already have their pilot academy, which is great. They are gonna be doing a onboarding tutorial, which will help new players get started within the game. Speaking of the game itself, as you can see, it is a web browser game. And so you can play it from your mobile device. And I'm near this planet right here. So I can actually see that they have sectors that I can purchase. As of right now, I don't think you can purchase any land uh, plots to farm resources because that is not out yet. But as you can see, they have a pretty am amazing system already set up with all sorts of different resources that you can actually sell on the marketplace. So if you bring up the marketplace here, as you can see, they have gems, they have crystals, metals, uh, all sorts of different resources that you can use to build your base. But they also have already a interactive star map where you can really just travel to the different planets, planets and galaxies. So for instance, we can go uh, see this, this little alignment has uh, 11 planets and three gates. So you can actually review the, uh, the planets here or you can travel to your different planets. So bringing up the, my ship again, we can go to gates and travel. So it's not there, it's right here. So we can warp to the different gates and it will actually travel. So it'll take me two minutes to, uh, to do that. I'm not actually going to make you guys sit through two minutes of watching my little, uh, my little ship travel there. All right, so I'm coming up to this gate. And as you can see, I am right there. And that was really quick. So I can actually take this gate and travel to different, uh, to different galaxies. So if I wanted to, I can jump through this and it will take me through the, uh, this little uh, gate that warm pulls me into a different dimension or uh, galaxy in general. So once I have found a suitable galaxy and I find a planet or a comet, I can actually start doing some mining within and extract the resources within that planet. And so those planets will give me, or even asteroids it says. So if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that each resource has a limited number of how much you can extract from these sources. So if it's from a planet or from a uh, asteroid, they have predefined uh, amounts that you can actually extract so that you have to continuously search and build your, uh, your mining fleet and continue to extract resources so that you can start really building a base and establishing dominance within your galaxy. As you get bigger and grow, this is why it's so important to have an academy because each part of the base will need to be operated uh, and constructed and taken care of. So it's really important to grow your, your academy so you can really just uh, experience all that there is within this game. So as you can see today, as of this video, they do have a pre-order to get crates. And within these crates, they contain valuable game items and credits that are the only source for original blueprints. Crates are initially distributed in the store and there will be a limited series of crates with original blueprints and legendary ship hauls, legendary ship hauls. Alpha crates are the only source of alpha modules. So members of an academy receive an additional 10% more credits from crates while the owners will be awarded 5% of all the ETH uh, spent by scholars in the store. So as you can see here, the uh, announcement price is almost a half of ETH and there's only 300 of them. If we scroll down, you can see the alpha uh, Dion, I think that's how you say it, is about one ETH and 150 crates. And then we have the alpha club at three uh, ETH and there's only 75 of them. But as you can see, these are all the ship modules and the breakdown. So there's quite a bit of um, thought that has gone, gone into this project and it's definitely for 
people looking to get into a space uh, ex exploration type game. So that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to join in the alpha release? Are you going to start your own academy? Are you going to join that academy? Are you going to join my academy? So all sorts of different things out there for you guys. Let me know down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.